Hi, this is Jacob with PCTechGuide.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at Driver Detective and how Driver Detective works. And Driver Detective does one thing and one thing really well, and that is update your drivers. So it finds uh, any of your missing drivers, it can update any drivers that you have. And best of all, it's very, very easy to use. Now a few features that it does have is it does have the Easy Migrator. So let's say you're on uh, Windows XP and you're migrating over to Windows 7 on the same computer. You can go ahead and hit the Easy Migrator. Choose the operating system that you're going to be migrating to. Let's say this was Vista and I'm migrating to Windows 7 64 bit. You can select that and then go ahead and hit the next button. This, what it's going to do is it's actually going to scan your current drivers and then it's going to download all the uh, latest drivers for that operating system that you're moving over to. Then you just hit the next button and basically you can choose where that file is going to be stored to after it downloads them all. Now you'd simply hit the browse button save it to whatever location you want on your drive and you have a backup of all your system drivers. It's really nice, simple to use. Now when you first install a driver detective over on the home button you're basically going to be asked to go ahead and choose uh, what type of computer you have, whether it's custom built, which I have selected is the custom built. Otherwise what you can do is you basically see this screen. What it's going to do is it's going to go through and select the drivers for you. Basically you're telling it, hey, this is the type of computer I have, so let's say it was a um, HP computer or something along those lines. Uh, once you hit this, you can uh, you can do the auto select, and what it'll do is it'll go through, and it'll scan your system and see exactly what type of system you have. Now because mine's custom built, it's not going to be in here, but pretty much any computer out there that's built by a manufacturer is going to be listed on here. It's very simple to use, that way it knows the exact components that are installed in your computer. And even if it didn't have that, you could just choose the custom built. My computer's custom built. Uh, so even if it is an HP or something, you could choose that. And what it's going to do is it's still going to go out and it's still going to find all the right drivers for you. So I'm going to go back over to the home button after I save this. And now I'm simply going to hit scan now. So what it's going to do is it's going to scan all the drivers on my computer. It's going to find all the latest updated drivers. And this is really, really, really simple to use. Can't be any easier, really. Now that it's finished its scan, it's going to say that I have 28 drivers out of date, zero devices without drivers, and this is really nice, especially on like gateway computers. If you've ever used a gateway and you were upgrading or downgrading from XP to Windows 7 or Windows 7 to XP, uh, oftentimes even on the manufacturer's website, it doesn't even list the drivers for you. It's nearly impossible to find. Well, Driver Detective can find them. It finds those hard to find drivers out there that you just cannot find online. We're going to see that most of my drivers are up to date, but I do have 28 out of date drivers on this computer. So I can actually scroll down and choose which drivers I have. So there's a, a Razer Lycos, which is my mouse. And really simple to use interface. And that's one reason why I like it. A few other things there. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, here's the Logitech Quick Cam. Let me go ahead and I want that driver. All I got to do is select it, hit next. It's going to go out. It's going to find the driver. It's going to download it for me. Then it's going to ask, hey, do you want to install it now? I'll just go ahead and hit yes. And while that's installing, I'm actually going to go over to the tools section. Under the tools section here, these are just a few of the, the customizable features that you have here. You can say maximum simultaneous download. So let's say you have a lot of drivers you want to download right there and there. Installation's complete. Great. No, I'm going to restart it later. You can actually choose. Uh, how many you want to download. So let's say there were 20 or 30 of them. You can say, well, download maximum of three at a time, whatnot. It really doesn't matter. And then right here, you can actually, it saves all the drivers for you. So you can choose what folder you actually want those drivers saved in. So right now, this is the default, which is a PC driver's headquarter uh, underneath uh, my username, the download section. And you can just keep that default, or you can, um, I'd keep it at default, but it's nice to know where this is at. That way you can just browse to it. Let's say you have 20 that you download, you can just install them, bing, bang, boom, right after one another if you wanted to. And this is cool. So it, it can detect things that are even unplugged. So let's say you used your camera or you used a headset or something like that, but it's not currently plugged in. It still knows that you had that device installed at one point in time on your computer. So because of that, you can go ahead and have that checked and have it still install that latest driver for that device if you know you're going to be using it in the future. And something that is important that I am glad they included, even though you can gain access to the system restore fairly easily in Windows 7 and Vista and XP, uh, it does have a system restore feature on here. And basically, whenever it installs a new driver, it does a system restore for you, and, or sets a restore point. That way, in case something 
sometimes when you update a driver, it can cause an issue. It's very extremely rare, but the fact that they thought of it and said, hey, we should have a system restore function in here for users just in case that driver does something not to benefit the end user, they can always roll back. And so it's really cool that they have that in there. And the next feature is the history feature. Yes. And this tells you just the latest ones that you've installed, as well as your download history. Now, at any point in time, I can go back, and you can see that this is my lap scan. I can actually go back over to my lap scan and review the results. Let's say I didn't want to download those drivers at that point in time. I can come back here and just choose to install them at this point in time. Now you can see that Driver Detective is a really, really, really simple to use program. It's one that I recommend. It keeps all your drivers up to date. Very, very easy to use. It can find your missing drivers. It can find outdated drivers for you. All those hard to find drivers. Driver Detective is, in my opinion, probably the best uh, program at just detecting drivers. Now there's other programs out there that have a, a slew of features, including driver updates, like PC Health Advisor is uh, a product we do recommend. But uh, driver detective is just for finding drivers, so its sole purpose is for finding drivers. And if that's what you're looking for, driver detective is the right choice for you.